Our first guests are celebrating diversity in the fashion industry by spotlighting 10 black designers from the diaspora. Joining us to talk about their new exhibition is designer Byron Lars and curators of the Black Dress Exhibition, fashion professor Adrian Jones and art dealer Paula Coleman. Welcome to Arise 360. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having us. You all look exquisite. Of course. Yes. Of course. We, like, <laughs> we like the fashion. Okay, so the exhibit is entitled Black Dress 10 Com Contemporary Fashion Designers, and it's currently being showcased at the Pratt Museum, correct? Pratt yeah. Manhattan Gallery. Pratt mm. Manhattan Gallery. Okay. How did this come to be exactly? Okay, I guess that's me. <laughs> okay. Jump on in. Jump on in. Um, about five years ago. I was speaking with my godmother who um, had a collection of newspaper articles, magazine articles, of all these blacks in fashion. And going through it, I realized how many of them I did not know and, and weren't aware of. And I thought, well, if I don't know, there's, there's a whole lot of other people out who, who don't know. Mm -hmm. And about two years ago, um, I decided to present the, um, the concept to Pratt and see about doing, actually doing an exhibit. Mm. Now, who are some of the people you feature in the exhibit? Well, Byron Lars. Byron. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Tracy Reese, mm -hmm. um, Stephen Burroughs. Oh, wow. Um, Jeffrey Banks, Samantha Black, uh, Epperson, mm -hmm. Laquan Smith, and Michael Jerome Francis and Omar Salam. Wow. I got them all. Oh, there yeah. you go. And Donna Dove. Donna, 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 oh Donna my God. Donna, those Donna, are, I'm sorry, last person? Donna Dove. Donna Dove. Okay. Donna Dove. So How those do you go about choosing those designers? Yeah, both established and up and coming, right? Right, okay. right. Uh, the list started with well over 200. Oh, really? So yes. then how did you whittle it down? Wow. Well, part of it was due to the amount of space that we had. Uh -huh. We're working in a gallery. Uh, so we only had about 2,500 square feet. So we realized that we had to shrink it down a lot. So from 200, we went down to 100, to 80, to 60. And then when it got to the finite numbers, I left it with Paula and our fashion consultant, Walter Green. Now, Byron, you made the cut. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, when I heard all that, I was like, I was honored to begin with. Right. When I heard that, I was like, Triply honor. <laughs> so what does it feel like to be a part of that exhibit and why was it important for you to be included? Other than exponentially honored? Mm -hmm. um, I was really humbled, honestly, too, by just seeing like how much talent there is out there that I didn't even know about. Even like I uh, told this story before, but Epperson, who was a part of it, I know that he was a talented women's wear designer, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that he did men's wear. And it's amazing. And now, I mean, I'm going to be a customer of his because mm -hmm. it's awesome. And this is why some, an exhibit like this is so important for us mm -hmm. to even know who's out here that we can be supporting, yeah. you know, as we spend our dollars out there, <laughs> you know, why not right. support one of our own, mm -hmm. you know? And Paula, you've been doing this for the last 15 years, creating these innovative exhibitions. How did you craft this one? Well, I've been doing it through the visual arts, mm -hmm. and this is fashion, but as we know, there's a very thin line between fashion and visual arts. Mm. Exactly. And some of the designers in the um, exhibition are also visual artists. So it was, it was really, at first I wasn't quite sure, but then I said, when we decided to do the upscale um, shopping center, I said, why don't we ha give each designer a canvas? And we did, we gave them a window. So each designer came in and they created their own you know, creative piece on a window. So it's just like it was a canvas, a piece of canvas, but they just dress their window, they dress their clothes, and so there, it's a piece of art. Wow. So yeah. the exhibition is fashion design, but it is just like a visual art show. Yeah, it's wearable art. It's mm -hmm. wearable art. If it's done right. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. wearable art. It's wearable art. Yes. Byron, back me up. You know, uh, it's gotta be done right for it, it to be wearable it does. art. Yes. It does. You're yes. right. We've seen some things <laughs> yes. that are, yeah. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Adrian, in an interview with L.com, you are quoted as saying, the talent level of black designers is no different than an Oscar de la Renta or, or Alexander McQueen, but the color of our skin gets in our way, unfortunately. What are your thoughts about the lack of diversity, both on and off the runway? I, I don't understand it, mm -hmm. mainly because we're still beautiful. Mm -hmm. And dress us up in any color, 
It's not, you know, it's not, well, my skin color, that makes me look too green or mm. too yellow, too shallow. Um, and the same thing with the designers. As you can see in the exhibit, we have a very talented group of individuals. And I don't really understand. It's not, it's still not clear to me why color makes the difference. Mm -hmm. Byron, help us understand what challenges designers of color face in this modern fashion world. Well, many of the same challenges that a designer of any race mm -hmm. would face. I mean, it's, it's extremely challenging getting financing. Mm -hmm. Fashion is very expensive to get, you know, a company off the ground. It's, I mean, just to get a sample collection together, you can be in excess of like a million dollars. Really? Not even that. For a sample. Large a collection. Mm. Wow. And, you know, to do a show, do any of those number of things to promote yourself, it's, you know, it's not cheap. Mm. So capital yeah. is an issue. Mm. Capital is definitely mm -hmm. an issue, but there is an, a lack of editorial support out there, you know I mean? I've been very reluctant to say that in, in talking about this exhibit as we've been, you know, interviewing, but it's just a fact. Mm. And I'm not saying that it should be me or anyone that I know, but it's just kind of a, a glaring omission that there hasn't been, you know, someone to reach that status of... A McQueen or an Oscar exactly. de la Renta. Well, what are the, the talent is there. Well, right. and that's undeniable. Mm -hmm. So what are the explanations that are given as to why that, that's not, that is not the case? I don't think it's just not spoken. Oh, it's still unspoken. It's overlooked it's just, at this point. I don't think they feel the need to give an explanation. Mm. Um, you know, they yeah. choose. They choose who they choose. That's well known. Mm -hmm. And um, the rest. I mean, we're overlooked. We so, are vastly overlooked. So what's it going to take to make a real change in the industry and bring more diversity to it? Is it going to be that one staple person to you know wave a flag? Well, the closest that we've gotten to it, I, I mean, I'd be remiss not to mention him, is Patrick Kelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it, that was a yes. big deal yes. for a black person, for an American, Does let alone period black. Period across mm -hmm. the board, but a yes. black American to be accepted in Le Champ Syndical in Paris, come on. Mm -hmm. That is, like, huge. Sadly, he left us way too early. Yes. So we didn't even get the chance to see how far his star was going to soar, because it was going to soar tremendously far. But... Mm -hmm. And he definitely has opened and made channels for opportunities for many of us that would otherwise probably not exist. But, you know, unfortunately, we just that story didn't really play itself out as far as it might have. Well, you're, uh, you're doing pretty good yourself. Michelle Obama wore one of your dresses. <laughs> yes. Hello. Let's not forget that. How does that feel to have the first lady in one of your pieces? It's thrilling. I mean, it, I, there's no other word for it. I mean, it's thrilling. <laughs> And when I saw, I saw an image of her on Air Force One wearing a dress of ours, and it just like, I'm sorry, that knocked me off my or, socks. Mm -hmm. So did you know she was going to wear it? They didn't you call never, you? You never know. You never know. Oh. That's, and, and, and that's just how it works. Yeah, yeah, you just don't know. Yes. You, you know, you look. In fact, sometimes you find out from your friend. In fact, the first time she wore something of ours, I found out from my mom. Mm -hmm. She called and she was like, I think Michelle Obama wore your dress. I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Oh. So we went online and I was like, <gasps> Yep, that was it. So have you framed so. the picture yet? Um, you know what? I haven't <laughs> Come framed on. any, but we've got them all cataloged. Okay, good. And, Notice yeah. the word all. All. Oh, yes. right. All right. right. We like that more than That's one. Good. More than one piece. Okay, I wasn't trying to go there. But, <laughs> but we, we got it and we like it. Yes. <laughs> so let's circle back to the exhibit. What are you hoping that museum goers uh, take away after visiting the show? An education, mm -hmm. an awareness. Um, I'm, as an educator, I'm particularly interested in younger art students, fashion students especially, um, that will come and, and see more of the history that, than they never even realized. Mm -hmm. I know in the classroom, I, I always like to start the semester by asking, who are your favorite designers? Mm -hmm. And they don't know many. And really? so that's overall. They don't know many. What names do you typically hear? Uh, well, if I say present, um, they'll go with uh, Mark Jacobs. Mm. If I say somebody pre-1985, they stutter and stumble. Uh, <laughs> they'll say, uh, Coco Chanel. And, uh. <laughs> you know, so they, they kind of scratch their head. So 
their knowledge of who's really out there is small to begin with, mm. but they never mention a black designer. Mm. Wow. So I've noticed that has been a void for quite some time. Well, I know, Paula, you're also educating people through a video installation at the exhibit. What's that about, and why did you choose to incorporate that? The video ex, um, installation is by Carrie Mae Weems, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and the model is Nicole. And what we wanted people to do is just see since, it's, since we didn't have a um, fashion show to accompany the exhibition, mm -hmm. we just said we'll give them, not even, it's just Nakora going to her, to her closet and bringing out these fab clothes mm -hmm. that, of these 10 designers. If you, so if you visit the gallery, you'll see Nakora changing, you know, nine times, because we had Devin Clark who did um, Jeffrey Banks' suit. So we wanted people to get a feel that they could see how the clothes are worn, mm -hmm. and we also wanted them to get a, um, a sense of black, black dress. Mm -hmm. This is how, you know, the funkiness, the craziness, the variety that we have. Okay, so how, so how long will the exhibit be up? How long? Until we go check it out? the 26th of April. Okay. All right. So we have April. more than enough time. Yeah. Yeah. Enough time. Well, definitely All right. be there. <laughs> All right, and quickly, what's next for each of you? Oh, well, next for me uh, is now I'm starting a new season and looking mm. for fabric and all that. It's just like fantastic, never ending. I'll stars. give you my measurements after the <laughs> show. And you know what? That's what's next HSN. for you. <laughs> HSN. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, that's for me. That. That's, that's, that's me. Big for me. All right. Okay. Yeah, so we, so can, that's new. we can purchase your fashions on HSN. Yeah, I'll be on the 27th. All right. Fantastic. Look forward Thanks. to it. Thank you. Right. Ladies. Well, I'll, you know, I'm still in the classroom, okay. so I'll, hello, hello to the Pratt students. Right. <laughs> um, shaping young minds. Shaping young minds. Perfect. And, and I actually want to do a book about mm. black dress. Wow. Uh, because during my research, I found that the information is there for a small pocket of time, and then it disappears. Mm. So I want to do a book putting all the information of everybody who fits under the umbrella of black dress. Okay. I'm going to be working on a project with Carrie Mae Weems. Carrie Mae Weems is at the Guggenheim, and I think her exhibition is there through April, the end of April also, right. and it's a must-see. We'll so I'll be working on a project with her. Fantastic. We'll go see yes. both exhibits then. Please. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you guys and we'll so be much buying your here. dresses. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is a Byron dress too, just in case. Oh, right. You love. <laughs> All right. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.